so <coughs> this episode also marks the end of the equestrian festival it uh, just like the game is just updated so we are on the day um, after the equestrian festival and I'm yeah this year I didn't go so much over like recording and showing off the event because I'm like I I enjoy do, doing the events don't get me wrong but also sometimes it's tiring doing the same event over and over again and record the same thing over and over again so with these events that just come and go I thought it would be better to just let you experience it on your own hand I'll of course as I always do have the um, rewards going past here on the screen with the outfits the nature outfit as I like to call it the orange pink salmon I think it's called the color outfit and also the one we have with uh, Sabine so that is stroller with like this pretty green and nature inspired set then the peach fuss which is which which is the other more like writing set I don't know I don't know what to say and then we have the set with Sabine where we of course got a repeat of all the items that have already been given out so far um yeah um I don't know what else like to say or do not anything else but like yes of course I want to do more of like the events yes but also I'd also like to have some time to just work on my own things. And do <coughs> what I want. Yes, of course, I want to do more recording of events and stuff like that but you're also experiencing those so just see me play through them as I've done in previous videos most of previous videos actually I I enjoy I hope I enjoy the recording and the aspect of that yes but I don't know if you also enjoy the complete uh, just sit and watch me play through an event I th because I think it will be a bit I don't want to say boring but a little maybe just watching me play through an event I have like two three videos by now playing through and um, I know for myself that it isn't something that is standing on top of my agenda that of course I love watching 
people who play through games but like the same event three times I think that can get a bit too much also I choose to the last couple of times even though I had the possibility and was able to record the event I chose not to do it of that simple reason that You are, I guess, the majority of you are watching me. I think you're also playing Star Stable. If not, um, you're missing out, I will say. I enjoy this game. And as I said in previous videos, yes, I also want to get back into recording more. I keep promised that it will not happen this year with event on event. But I also have, unfortunately, that things have changed in my life that's not always makes it possible for me to record as much as I want to and when I want to um. <coughs> I have responsibilities and things I also need to take care of and I I put those things first. In the end, this is a game, this is a hobby that I choose to record while I play. I do it the most I can, but sometimes... Yeah, you wish you could do more, but in the end, I am one person. I'm doing all of this shit alone. And I can't... I, I'm not a big YouTuber. I don't have five people behind me. I do this here by myself. And I mean by myself. Everything from reco recording to editing. Some of the first episodes I had, I had one make the thumbnails for those. I think it's like the first 20 episodes or something. Um, I had someone make the thumbnails for that. Unfortunately, they had to... They had to skip out because of their life for th their life also uh, what do you say their life situation changed and yeah I respect that I respect that their life changed so they couldn't help me. They have said that they hope that one day they can get back into it and have let them take the time that they need. Um, I'll continue to let them do what they want. So they, when they say they are ready to come back. And so then, and that's the only help I have had. Else, everything else depends on me and that's th truth be told a lot of work for one person that's both tackling that and also trying to stay on top of all the schoolwork and every other thing in her life that's not easy it never have been and it never will be Never have been, it never will be, and I try my best to record episodes when I can. Um, things have started to sort out better for me, so I'm trying to get back into recording videos. Um, I have a few, uh, few what's called. I have a list, like I'm made of like. I looked here under the quests I have, both the two main, but also on the ones down here. And also asked myself, like, okay, which sound like long quests, which is short quest, quest lines. Um, but also think about, like, okay, 
for example, I found out that the, the Baroness race track up here, there's a champ up there. I know that for a long time. But I found out you can't compete in the champ if you don't have it open. So I know that that's an area I will be focusing on opening so I actually can get her race track. Um, I know we have a lot of down at South Hoof. I haven't fit quest lines, I haven't finished yet. I also want to get finished. Um, I have things that you see all over the map, especially here in like Silverglade Village. Not not village, Vineyard. Uh, Silverglade Manor, Vineyard, and Riding Arena. Also up here, like Golden Host Valley and stuff like that. I have a lot of quests spread out over, and I also have wanted to try to figure out what quests to do to open the hub, like down here at the Harvest Countries. Red Western Epona, Eastern Epona, No Hill Crest, and all of that. Um, and also, I think I have a quest line for opening. Like, I think I have a quest line to get to Dundal or something. I think. And I want to go to those places. I really do want to go to those places. But when it's only me who works this year, I have a list of like in order of kind of what I wanted to do before I had to take a break from recording. I've so like been on the game and done. I've done a few of those like uh, some of the daily quests, which I have none of. Have I not done daily quests? I can't remember. Venus races and shores I have been on and doing. Yeah, races and shores. I thought I had some daily quests. I can't. Be this, or else I've mixed up the dailies with the purple take race multiple times things. I can also do that. <laughs> um. So I try to be online and actually, you know, do stuff on here that I know will benefit me in the long run. But I also know that I am one person doing all of this here, and it ain't easy to juggle so many things at once. But I also I enjoy this game. I enjoy recording talking to you guys, girls, and whatever I should call you nowadays. Um, and yes, I know I'm riding around on the level 15 horse, so I have a few in my stable. I could just train, I choose to ride him. I just ride this horse around because I like it a bit too much to just let it sit. What's your choice for Pennsylvania and Fairfield? Okay. And like, yeah. I enjoy sitting and being on here and relaxing. As you see, I like I don't know to choose multiple like, the places where I can get those. It's not every day I do the races. I have been on a bit here doing the um, equestrian festival. Gotten all of the rewards. Um, it's hard work, I tell ya. But also, with all the XP you get, you train horses so fast that. It's nice for those who want to just have a fast level 15 horse. Um, I'm not always on one of the fast level 15 horse. Yes, it's nice, but I don't. I would say yes, I love the championships, but I don't always care about winning them. And also, I'm only level 14. There are some like. 25, I think I saw some at this event, like 
Press and Fest was also like in 25. Or like 20, I don't think 26, but at least 25. A lot of 20, like 3 to 4. So I also know that when people are there, I have. I don't have a chance at winning. Unless I have to be lucky that they make like two groups and I can be the best one in the second group. <sighs> Sorry, yawning. I know that. Um, I just do, do my thing, which is recording and making videos. And I have always been like, yes, I can also find out, oh, what's very popular of things to do, and ooh, I make things to get popular and want to be popular and famous on YouTube and known. My job is not my job, my wish is not reaching 10 million subscribers and like have my name well known all over the world that's that's not my goal my goal is sit here play my little horse game and record record it while I do it both for you guys but also for myself And I'll say that's one of the opinions you ha I have. I don't think, of course, yes, you can choose to do YouTube for others. But I think most importantly, you should do things you enjoy doing yourself. If you enjoy sitting down, turning on a screen recorder as I choose to do, and play a game while you just ramble, talk about things catches your mind, then you should do that. If you want to reach 10 million s subscribers on YouTube, go figure out how you can reach 10 million subscri subscribers on YouTube and do that. My goal is just relaxing and having fun. And sharing this game I have known since I was a kid and um, gave up on. I think as I mentioned in some of my first episodes that I used to play Star Stable when. It like back when it first came out. Stuff I brought on here back when it first came out, but um, my laptop at that time it could, it, it's you know it could handle it, but you couldn't get past level five. So I'll basically just make an account, reach level five, delete it, make it, make a new, and so on. After you've done that a few times, it gets boring. I think this one I kind of kept. I got like a few, um, like monthly <coughs> uh, star right on, but at some point I stopped because my computer couldn't handle it, so I just gave up. I say I never gave up, I just. <coughs> I shared the laptop with my sister and. At some point, I was just like, I got my own, and that was one of the games I never downloaded on like, on like my own laptop. And then later on, I found that that those couple of years ago, I found this game again. I looked a bit into it. Um, thought I would try it, so that they had like their tenth birthday coming up. And I was like, that would be a good. I, th I thought to myself that that would probably be a good, a good way to to join again. And also make an interesting starting point, joining at the tenth anniversary of the game I used to play back before I even was five years old. game, not me, I was older. <laughs> like back when the game was only like when it first came out. And 
I was like, if I want to do this shoot again, I want to do it in a way that I want to do it and I want to record it. And so I slowly started recording. In the start, I recorded a lot because I had the time. And I'm also starting to figure out a schedule. It works with like school and homework and family and other real life stuff that will still give me the possibility to also record and show those who probably have some of those like me who can't get the full game or well, can't I can now but I couldn't back then I'm always like somewhere out there that might sit one right now there is like I was Look, the little one that can't, that's not allowed to get a game because it's too expensive or you can wait for your birthday and then when your birthday come around you have other things you rather want to get. For those people, that's why I record. To give them a feeling of being a part of a game. And I know, I have an idea about that, I'm not the only one who chooses to do it this way. I choose to record and share my journey throughout Jorvik with all of you. And I will continue doing that to the day I'm not able to do that anymore. The day where... Yeah, the day I can't do it anymore. That's when I will stop. And even, I think even then, I will find a way to sometimes put a video out for you guys. Somehow I will do it. I enjoy this game way too much, let's just say that. And I love to share it. Share my experience. Share how I choose to play the game. You know, things like that. Share so my journey throughout this year. Show you what I choose to do. And yes, I remember first time I was sitting down and recording, I was like, I don't know what to do, I have no idea if I'll do it correctly, will people even watch me, will they even like me, will they even like what I choose to do. The way I choose to do it, I was very self, I, I was not sure about myself of how to do it, what to do and all of that. But then I remembered one of my teachers I had at one of my schools that she always told me because I was very insecure. She always told me I should try to be a bit more like Pip uh, Pippi Long sucking. I don't know how to do that. I probably can do it. And you know. I just press record, open the game, and here I am, a 
couple of years later still doing it. I don't have that many people who watch me and if I look at the statistics it's like some would say it's not the best statistics but for me one, two, three people watching my videos I I don't need more. I would like to have more, yes. But I don't need people to constantly watch me. You can follow me, you can, f you can find me on YouTube, watch one or two videos and call that a day. Not a day, but like, that's what I've seen of her, no more. If you do, do that, fine with me. You do you. I don't control who you choose to watch and who you choose not to watch. I can only say that I choose to record a game I like playing. And I will continue to record as much as I possibly can. and upload it for everyone to see um, and I will I will do that as I said so I'm not able to do it anymore and the day when I'm not able to record anymore as I said I will find something else. Um, I'm one of those that have like a gazillion hobbies and things I want to do. AKA also why I sometimes need to schedule for things. And I have a schedule that works to me duty for the time, but also I need a break from recording so it wasn't originally on the schedule. But I want to get more back into it. Finding out what to do, finding some of the quests, seeing what else is to be done. And just enjoy playing. Playing a silly little horse game, as some people might call it. I know that I'm never... I'm not gonna be one of the big... Star Stable YouTubers. I know that. I will never be. And truth be told, I don't aim to be either. I just wanna play my game and have fun. And that's that's what I want to do. Play a game I enjoy and have fun. And I will continue to play this game and have fun doing it. I'm recording my experiences, my ups, my downs, my fails, my running aimlessly around trying to figure out where things are and I hope you will stay with me for for that journey you know I hope you'll stay with me throughout this journey of your week and finding out what are more secrets this island holds 
and where the story will take us. And all of those things. And with that being said, I have rambled on for far too long by now that I hope I will I'll end the episode here and I hope I will see you in the next episode. Bye!